My name is Kiroga Duku. I'm the MCH Chinga Ward and I'm also the UDA candidate in Chinga Ward in the Tuesday general elections. And yesterday I wrote a letter to the chairman IEBC, Mr. Wafula Shebukati, and I took it all the way to Bomas. Uh, where the IEBC is currently based or op operating from because we have seen and witnessed some very worrying trends in our area. As many people will recall, I was one of the members of the current county assembly who are opposed to the BBI. And as a result, the system has been seriously fighting me they tried to interfere with our UDA nominations, but the people of Chinga overwhelmingly supported me and voted me on a UDA ticket. And then again, we are seeing very worrying things that are happening as we speak. This week, on 1st of August, the DCC nearly south and Mr. Talam held a meeting at Kaliko Chief's compound and because they had invited the area residents and known to them most of the people who are there are our supporters and Mr. Talan and the other administrators there they spoke extensively against the deputy president's candidate as the president of Kenya they also spoke against me as the UDA candidate in Chinga. And they also spoke against the other UDA members. And even before that, at another meeting of the security committee near south, the DCC said he was ready to be sacked uh, to ensure that I didn't go back as the MCA for Chinga. Now what we are telling these people, we know they are under pressure. In fact, we have forgiven them already. But we will not allow them to interfere with the elections, with the will of the people. Whomever is sending them must know the constitution of Kenya creates and allows people to choose their leaders without anyone interfering with them. We know certain people have been trying to foment a crisis on the day of the elections so that the counting of votes can come at night so that they bring all manner of confusion and rigging during the elections. We are calling them out. We trust Wafura Shebukati's commission have the will, the capacity to conduct elections from 6 to 5 and the votes be counted immediately. And then the whoever will be the winner, be the winner. But we cannot allow chiefs, deals, assistant chiefs, DCs to be given orders to come and sabotage UDA candidates. That one we will not allow. And personally, I said I would rather someone kills me than leak me. I don't, you know, if the people of Chinga decided to vote for another person, that's their right. I have no problem with that. But what I will not allow is a situation whereby the people of Chinga want Kiroga Duku and someone comes and interferes with their decision. That one we will not allow it. And uh, let me remind uh, our DCC. In the last five years, there is not even a single project he can tell the world he has started in Chinga. I myself, as the people's representative for that world, I have started over 70 projects in that world. So, I, I, I don't see why he should come there and interfere with a people's servant. If people of Chinga won't reject me, let them reject me. But the government cannot come there and say because Kiroga opposed BBI, because Kiroga is not a supporter of Jubilee, they will leave Kiroga out. They, that will not happen. And we are determined 
our people are ready and we are focused on them we know all they have been doing all they have been discussing those people they are talking with there they are telling us every detail even more those plans they have to interfere with the elections we are calling them out we are telling them everything they try to do we will expose them in broad daylight however what we want to say we have no problem with anyone all we want is for the people to be given the opportunity to exercise their democratic right of choosing their leaders without any interference from any quarters therefore that's all i wish to say for now and i'm 100 percent sure the people of chinga whom we have been working with will elect me back as their leader on tuesday and even if they wouldn't, even even in their likely event they chose another person in a democratic manner, I will still respect the outcome. So, all we don't want is this unnecessary interference we are seeing, whereby you see, if I give you an example, recently the governor came to initiate a bridge in my, in my ward. No administrator turned up. Then the other day, the Jubilee MCA candidate came to give boy dogs to about 10 people and the chiefs and the assistant were there in full uniform. That is, that, is, you know, that is what we are calling the misuse of the provincial administration by the government. And that is what we are saying must stop. But, like we have been saying, freedom is coming soon. Thank you very much. God bless Kenya. We want a peaceful election. We want the will of the people to be respected. Thank you.